If you're into the history of children's books, you should definitely know both of these, especially because this one made me cry a lot. This is Millions of Cats, and it came out in the 30s, and it's often called the first illustrated children's picture book of all time. Um, and the backstory of it is phenomenal. It's by a woman named Wanda Gog, and this is a children's book telling Wanda Gog's story. And so I read this yesterday to my firstborn, who is someone who just lives to draw. Uh, she's been pumping out art ever since she could move her hands. Now she's moved on to multi-media uh, creations, and it's super cool to see. And it turns out that that was Wanda Gog's story. She grew up poor in Minnesota, and her father was a painter of churches and decorations, but he had to work very hard because they had seven kids. Wanda Gog was the oldest, uh, but he constantly inspired her with his life of art and his Sundays dedicated to his own painting. And she was a little one who lived to draw. All she wanted to do was draw the old world European setting she saw around her in Minnesota that was really Bavaria transplanted into the north of the US. And he encouraged her to draw and to draw. Her mother did too. But unfortunately then her father died at the age of 15 from tuberculosis. And the last thing he said was to Wanda, you need to continue to do the work and to do the creativity and the art and finish my paintings uh, intellectually. Um, and it was a huge burden for a family that no longer had any money coming in for, except for a couple dollars from the state. But she refused to quit school and to go to work in a, a shop or something like that. She instead switched to drawing decorations and cards for people, going out on a limb and trying to get paid for her artwork so that she could keep her and her entire uh, set of siblings in school. And she managed to do it at 15. Um, and it is, it's so inspiring that she did. And she kept taking care of the kids until she was 20 and two of her younger sisters finally became teachers. And she was free um, to win a scholarship of one of 10 kids to go to one of the best art schools in New York City. And there she dived into art and she just kept working and working at it and getting inspired by the modernists. And she got in some group shows and finally she had her first one woman show in New York City, you know, what every artist is looking for. And she made it as a, a real artist who could live off of her artwork. And at that show, someone came up to her and said, you should do kids books. I would, I could think you could do something really great for kids books. And so um, she put in a proposal that she had from her diaries to do millions of cats about a little old man and a little old woman. And the little old man went to search for a cat and he brought home uh, millions and billions and trillions of cats. It is a delightful story. And it's even better to know that she changed the face of what kids' books look like with these full pictures that covered all the pages that were... Uh, really the text mixed with the images and one of them and them together making a full piece of art. Uh, no one had ever done anything quite like that before and forever after kids' books were changed by this young woman who grew up in an artistic household where she was encouraged to follow her dreams and it led to her making incredibly beautiful works of art. And she never, she decided never to write an autobiography, but she did release her diaries. She had 41 different books of diaries from when she was younger. And so she charted her artistic journey in those diaries, her drawings, her writings, despite the hardness of the time, she could be quite funny and philosophical philosophical about her situation. And I didn't know anything about Wanda Gog until I found this book in my book of uh, classic children's books. And it led to me to this incredible story. And I read it on Father's Day. And to think that if you do it just right and you follow your own art, even if it never goes anywhere, which <laughs> it, uh, it has not, um, that maybe what you're doing is creating just a cocoon so one of your kids is going to make the art that leaves a great impression on the world. And so if you want to have a great children's book to read, Millions of Cats, if you want an inspiring story of an artist who stuck to it with grit and humor and determination, Wanda Gog.